We have the Duke Blue Devils, the number one team in the country. Back here, they're home away from home. They'll take on Georgetown, the 2K Empire Classic Championship game. Duke and Georgetown here tonight. We got ourselves an old school matchup in this championship. A couple of Hall of Famers saying hello, giving the hugs. Patrick Ewing, Mike Shashevsky, the meet and greet pregame. We welcome you to the 2K Empire Classic, our championship here tonight, Duke and Georgetown here from Madison Square Garden. The lights are out. They're going to put them back on, I promise. John Chambi, Dan Dockage courtside. This is going to be a lot of fun. We get a chance to watch Duke yesterday. They beat up on Cal. One of the guys we get a chance to watch, their prize freshman, Vernon Carey Jr., so efficient in 22 minutes. Yeah, 22 minutes. He had 31 points, and he did it literally every way you can do it. He got in the middle of his zone, went to the basket. He shot a three. He went and got offensive rebounds, spin move to the baseline. You name it, he did it. And you know what else he did, Boo? He played defense, too. He's very good good defender on pick and rolls the 31 points in 22 minutes is what we're going to talk about but he's going to have to play defense tonight against pretty good player for Georgetown yeah indeed and when you look at the numbers that carry put up just 22 minutes 31 12 and four four off the freshman scoring record Zion Williamson set last year with 35. We mentioned a good player on the other side. Battle of the bigs down low. Omer Yurtseven is going to be the guy that will go up against Carey. Yeah, and Yurtseven played at North Carolina State. He's played against Duke teams. He had foul trouble yesterday, but still had 10 and 4 in limited minutes. He has to stay out of foul trouble. He can go out and shoot it. He can go to the rim, and he's experienced. It's going to be a good test. For not only Duke against Georgetown, but for Carey Jr. against Yurt Seven. Yeah, Patrick Ewing in his third season as the head coach at his alma mater. Last year they went 19 and 14, 500 of the conference lost their first NIT game. And one of the best players in the history of college basketball. Meanwhile, as good a coach as we've seen in the history of college basketball right there. Mike Krzyzewski, five times a national champ. Yurt Seven and Carey will jump it up, and away we go from the garden. Georgetown controls. And we take a look at our starting lineups. They're brought to you by Roman. Akinjo McClung, the prize sophomores, Mosley Pickett, and Yurt Seven. And Akinjo with the early bucket. Our Duke starting lineup brought to you by Roman. Jones, Stanley, Moore, Hurt. And the freshman carry. Here he is. Goes right hand and good. Man. They just threw it right in against here at seven. And as you said, he spun baseline right handed. He was mostly right shoulder yesterday, but wow. McClung has had a couple of really good offensive games, and that one was deflected. And you know, right now, they have a little bit of a conference. Was it touched? Yeah. I can't tell. I can't either, but what you saw right there was more keeping McClung on a side. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the Duke of we're going to score 98 points and shoot a bunch of threes and be marginal on defense. This team gets after it on defense. Old school. You haven't seen it in those two possessions, but you will during the course of the game. Akinjo has been fantastic. Big East freshman of the year averaged just over 13 points a game and led the conference in assists per game, James Akinjo. You know what I like about Akinjo? He's the kind of guy that isn't going to shy away from this. Bigger the stage, the bigger he wants it. You can tell. Stanley, the freshman, lost it off his leg. Turnover, Georgetown basketball. Well, they're trying to overplay Akinjo, and Akinjo took advantage of it the first time with a little bit of a layup, and now he gets passed and pretty good screen by Yurt Seven on carry. No help layup. So the energy inside the building, obviously, Georgetown fans, a lot of them here, pick it off the glass, wouldn't go loose ball, and it ends up with Wendell Moore. Moore spins. And a whistle as they get the foul, I believe, on McClung. 
And that'll be his first. A more number zero is a key to this game. He's going to guard multiple people. You saw him brought the ball to bring the ball down. He is, I think, the X factor for Duke because he can do a ton of things. He can post it. He can mid-range it. That's hurt. Little strong Mosley the rebound. Jacob Mosley, who played his high school ball nearby, just over the river at St. Anthony's, and has since closed. And that one rattles in. Hey, boo. Georgetown going right at Duke like you would expect. Cassius Stanley handling their prize freshman. And the ball will be in the hands of this guy, Trey Jones, a lot. One of the best defensive players in the country, one of the best players in the country. That's offensive. And indeed it will be. One thing we learned yesterday, Boo, Georgetown can guard the basketball. They will move their feet. They're in gaps, and you're going to see right there, Mosley keeps his feet moving, his shoulders squared. Hey, you can be moving a little bit if you are there first. Mosley was. Good call. Played in high school for Bobby Hurley's dad, Bob Hurley Sr. They closed St. Anthony's 2017. 28 state titles, one of the best high school programs around. As McClung gets it to go, shooters roll. What a start. McClung came flying off that screen and was going to shoot it no matter what. Bickett pops back on Hurt and swings to Stanley. John Chomby, Dan Dockich from Madison Square Garden. 2K Empire Classic, our championship game. Possession arrow, and it stays with Duke. Boog, the question you have. All right, Stanley gets 31, or, or excuse me, Kerry Jr. gets 31, and we talk about him. Who is going to score? They're going to need Hurt to hit a couple threes. More I've already talked about, and this might be a game where Trey Jones has to go outside himself a little bit, take some shots, score in the 20s if Duke's going to get this win. Kerry steps outside. One to three, missed, hurt, rebound, that wouldn't go. Fight for the loose ball, pick it, taps to Mosley. Here comes Georgetown. And a travel. Just got a little going too fast, Mosley was too excited. He took off, forgot to put the ball on the ground. Patrick said, hey look man, the NBA, they don't call that. Georgetown, the early 9-2 lead. Our championship game, the 2K Empire Classic, and the bump on year 7. He fouled out of the game yesterday against Texas. Ten points in just 13 minutes, and two or three of them weren't great fouls, and that one right there, 20 some odd feet from the basket. That's not where you want to pick it up, right? I wasn't mad at him. I just think that you got to let that go. That okay. didn't affect him much. Stanley inside, flips it up, wouldn't go. Fight for the loose ball. Stanley gets it back. Tries to hang and hit. Contested yard seven, got a piece. And then they throw it away. It'll be Duke basketball. What Mosley saw was McClung there, and Mosley put his head down just for a split second, and McClung moved up to the wing. He's looking at McClung right now, and he threw it to the bleachers. Trey Jones, the sophomore from Minnesota, gives to O'Connell. Kick out White, and he got it to go. O'Connell looked like he was giving up a pretty open layup right there to kick out. It ended up working out. Ooh, we saw him dunking on people yesterday. I thought he was going in for the same kind of dunk. Big for Duke to get play from O'Connell, but more so from Jack White. McClung, good look at it. Got it. Hockey guards, man. McClung, Akinjo, they've heard enough about Trey Jones. Cocky guards win big games. White not able to answer. Carry the rebound. And he gets fouled. Vernon Carey Jr. will shoot two when we return. Fast start here, Georgetown. Hey, Trying to play fast. Yeah, if you play at Georgetown or Duke, man, you've got to be able to play in big moments. Akinjo and McClung live for these two moments. A nice bounce early, and McClung knocks in another one. Cocky guards win big games.
These are my people. This is the land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Mm -hmm. No. 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 How come I'm always walking backwards? Because you got young legs. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus. Giving one. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It really is. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2020 RX 350 for $4.19 a month for 27 months. Experience amazing to your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal, an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Tonal, be your strongest. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by NBA 2K20. Welcome to the next rated E for everyone. Continental Tire for what you do. And a beautiful day in the neighborhood starring Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers now playing. Now Patrick Ewing, one of the great players in the history of college basketball, national title in 84, Naismith player of the year in 85. He was the Big East player of the year 84 and 85, and the all-time leader. Rebounds, blocks, games played. And then, of course, first overall pick, and he called this arena home. 1985, he was the first overall pick 11 times, an all-star, and now in his third year as the head coach. We talked to him yesterday, and he jokingly said he goes on these recruiting trips, and he goes into the kitchen, talks to the kids, to the parents, and multiple parents saying, you were my favorite player. And then he paused and said, I haven't gotten one of those kids yet. Said not one. It hasn't made a difference yet. So we'll see. Yeah, good staff. Louis Orr. Syracuse fans will remember the Louis and Bowie show, or the Bowie and Louis show. I can't remember which one. but it they was were, Louis and Bowie. Yeah, yeah, okay. They were terrific. In fact, Louis followed me at Bowling Green, was at Seton Hall. He's a terrific coach and terrific with players. So... Patrick Ewing hired a good staff and coaches him up. Pick it jumper short. Tracked down by White. Gives off Jones. And Duke looks to chip away at a five-point deficit. Who else? Carey had it stripped away. And they get that foul, I believe, on Pickett. They're checking in. It'll be the sophomore, Josh LeBlanc. So Mosley grabs a seat. Jones jumper. Carry the rebound. Carry the putback. It's good. Too big, too strong. Well, Hop was pretty good yesterday against smaller guys. Carry is one of those guys, Boog, that's bigger when you stand next to him. Thicker when you stand next. A lot of times a basketball guy isn't the size that he's purported to be, but not carry. McClung jumper wouldn't go. White for a second might have had carry up ahead. Jones, O'Connell, that's a two. And pick it the rebound. The other thing with carry, really active. Mm -hmm. You said it yesterday. You know, here's a guy that we don't see very often that just wants to get on the block and whoop up on you. He's Patrick. Guess how Patrick Ewing plays, not Patrick size. But you have to play in the post, and then you have to finish every possession against Carey with a blockout. And it has to be. Look, two guys are trying to push him, but they didn't use their lower body. You cannot use your upper body against Carey. You've got to use your hips and your legs. Yeah, last night, just 22 minutes, 31 points. And just four off the freshman scoring mark of 35 by Zion Williamson last year. Three point game, Jones handling. Moore lost the handle for a moment. And picking it up is a Kinjo. Here come the Hoyas. Georgetown by three. A Kinjo had it rejected. That's three bad possessions. Three straight possessions where the ball didn't swing side to side. And if you don't do it against Duke, they're going to lock in and defend you.
White looking for some help as Jones cuts. And then Delorier left hand in and out, but the tip is good by Moore. Yeah, Moore was standing on the left side, and he did what good players do. He followed the action. Good timeout by Ewing to get his offense straight. Georgetown, a one-point advantage. Duke got a 6-0 run. Got ourselves a good one here at Madison Square Garden. Javin Delorier, the putback, back in 30 seconds. These are my people. This is the land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It gives you like 10 degrees protection, which is nice. It gives you that light berry. Story time? Sorry. That's my bedtime. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus, giving one. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Wait, how did you guys... Don't ask. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2019 ES350 for $369 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal, an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Tonal, be your strongest. All right, back here, Madison Square Garden. John Chambi, Dan Dockich. That last putback, what do you got? Well, there was two different angles. One I thought was a goaltend. This one doesn't look like a goaltend, right? Now, remember, any portion of the ball inside the cylinder, and the cylinder goes up to the ceiling, that didn't look like it. This angle here, now that 100% looks like a goaltend, right? Yes. Video isn't always 100% accurate. I, truthfully, the first one we showed, I didn't think it was. I thought it was off the rim. Second one looked clearly like a goal. Team. Well, video is always 100% no. accurate. It just depends on the angle that no. you have. The, the video is what happened. The video can lie based on the angle. Let's agree to that. Because I'm telling you, the first one was a goal. Or this first one was not. Second one was. And they get the shove, and that'll be on O'Connell, I believe. Yeah. Boom. Ball has to be with this lineup. Has to be in a Kinjo and pick its hands. I mean, you. This is not equal opportunity offense out here. You know, if LeBlanc wants to play from the free throw line in, fine. But Allen, Akinjo, and Pickett have to be the guys making the plays in this with this lineup. Well, Hop gives off to Akinjo. Nine in the shot clock, and Kinjo from deep, and he got it. Now he just measured up Jack White, and Jack White got small because he didn't have his hands up early. Stanley trying to turn the corner and then makes a U-turn. White swings to Jones. Georgetown by four. It's our championship game, and they get the foul on Terrell Allen. Akinjo's got to be the guy. McClure and McKin and McKin Akinjo and Pickett. I mean, he's just measured. Look at his hands are down. Jack White's hands are down. I mean, he might as well be five foot ten instead of six foot eight. When you match up against a guy with Akinjo's ability, your first move is to have a hand up and into him, not down. Swing inside Delorier. And a turnover, Georgetown basketball, Hoyas by, f oh no. Trip. Got a foul on Georgetown, my mistake. And that'll be on Allen, his second. And McClung is gonna check back in. 12-17 to go in our championship game, the 2K Empire Classic. John Chomby, Dan Dockich, courtside here at Madison Square Garden. It's a pretty cool place. This is awesome. Way off the mark there from O'Connell. And Ahoy is the other way. And McClung gets the basket. No, wave it off. Oh, 
McClung came off the bench and wants to score 50. Let's see. Help coming. Outside. You know, a, a Georgetown Hoya fan would argue that McClung was already in the air in the shooting motion, but I think this is a pretty good call. I think DeLaurier came over, got outside the square, got his shoulder squared. His second foul. I think more often than not, it's a block. Do you? Yes. I think when you square your shoulders and you're outside, you're going to call it a charge. Wahab and Akinjo the other way. Akinjo hoist. That's off the mark. Out of bounds. And it'll be Duke basketball. When we come back, yeah, we'll look back at a title run for the ages. Duke and Georgetown in our championship game. These are my people. This is the land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Okay. It gives you like 10 degrees protection, which is nice. It gives you that light berry. Story time? Sorry. Pass my bedtime. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus. Giving one. <gasps> Wow! Wait, how did you guys... Don't ask. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2019 ES350 for 369 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal, an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Tonal, be your strongest. Well, Feast Week continues the Air Force Reserve Hall of Fame tip-off. Classic starts tomorrow. Defending national champs, number seven, Virginia, taking on UMass at 12 Eastern, Arizona State and St. John's, and then championship coming up on uh, Sunday at 1, third place, 3.30 Eastern. And how about Virginia last year and those tight games down the stretch. Elite eight against Purdue. Mamadi Diakite, the buzzer beater to tie it. Hunter gave Virginia the lead with 28 seconds left in overtime. And they beat Purdue 80-75. Then in the national semifinal, they beat Auburn. Guy fouled to the three-pointer, made all three free throws with one second left. And then the win, Hunter, a three-pointer to tie the game with 12 seconds left against the Red Raiders. And then the three-pointer that would give them the lead in overtime. And Tony Bennett and Virginia picking up a national title. Pretty impressive. Three of the best games you're ever going to see. Oh, how about, my goodness. How about being Kyle Guy and have to go up in front of the world? He told me that, he said, I, what were you thinking? He goes, I was just thinking I needed to make them. Yeah. I mean, pretty simple. And he just stepped up in front of everybody and drilled them. What, what do you think the percentage of the time, and I don't know the answer to this. I've asked this out loud on the air. What percentage of the time that a guy gets three free throws do you think in college basketball he makes all three? I'd say a little over 50. In that situation? Less. I'd say about 12. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good move by Wahab fronting Kerry because if you let Kerry get it, he's dead. Three seconds. It'll go the other way. Georgetown basketball. Hoyas lead it by four. So this will be an interesting stretch right yeah. here for Georgetown with Allen running the point. No Akinjo, no McClung. Yeah, you look out here and you say, okay, who's scoring? They really don't have a post score here. Mosley can a little bit. They have the Juco transfer, Galen Alexander, on the court. A bucket there. 
Man, that was Wahab just getting it at the free throw line. He got a little angle. Mistake by Duke. You just square your shoulders to Wahab and make him shoot through you, and he's not going to do it. But if he gets an angle, he can go to the rim. They find Carey. Carey on Wahab. Kudus Wahab charged with the foul. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. You just have to move your feet and square up when the ball. See, there's a little, just a little bit of side that Carey gives Wahab. You just can't do that. He gets right over Carey's left foot, and if Carey were a little lower and moving, he would have squared up and kept him in front, and it would have been no bucket. You square up on Biggs at the free throw line. Eighth foul on Georgetown, and Carey misses the front end of the one and one. How about Carey moving his feet, got his hand in there. Now a question down here, who's going to score for Duke? If it's not going to be Carey, he's dying for the ball. The block out on her great position by Carey. Point blank look, he couldn't finish. But if he gets the ball that deep all the time, it's going to be trouble. Wahab. Blocked by Baker, but they get the foul on Joey Baker. Young players. This is a great pass by Mosley. Mosley gets it into Wahab. Wahab doesn't catch it clean. It's a great pass. But watch what Wahab does. He fumbles it, right? It's kind of fumbled. But he right there, he takes his time. And he gathers and goes up. So many big guys in traffic want to hurry and get the ball up. You're big. You're strong. You're by the bucket. You dominate. And that's what Wahab did. Had nine points in the win over Texas. The season high 22 minutes. He had the dunk at 13 15 to go that put the Hoyas up for good 54 52. I mean, they won by 16. It ended up being a blowout, but they were down by five at the break. Uh, just got locked in defensively. Texas had nothing for him. 7 0 Georgetown run. Stanley and absorbs the contact from Alexander. First team foul, ninth foul on Georgetown. It's going to be double bonus time with the next foul. 9.55 to go. Cassius Stanley, the freshman from California. He get a chance to meet his namesake. Yeah, Muhammad Ali, the former Cassius Clay. A friend was was doing a, a story on Muhammad Ali, and young Cassius got a chance to tag along and meet the champ. That photo is incredible. Incredible. That's what a great photo to have. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Ali Frazier one was right here. One of the great fights of all time. The block kick out. Mosley will try a three. Carey pulls down the board. Here comes Trey Jones. Duke down by seven. Jones fires. That's short. Allen to Alexander, and he's fouled. Yeah, the foul will be on Cassius Stanley. That's his first. Yeah, Galen Alexander, Juco transfer, started his career at LSU. He's a junior. You look at these two teams, though, they are young. I mean, the core of this Georgetown team, you got the, the sophomores with McClung, Akinjo, and LeBlanc. Pickett's a junior. And then Jones on the Duke side, a sophomore. And they got, even though it's not the same level as last year, they still have a good group of freshmen. I mean, the freshmen between Moore and Hurt and Stanley, the freshmen are going to have to make an impact for Duke again this year. This is where they like to play Hurt, right here. Inside, that would go. Hurt the rebound. Inside again, had it knocked away. And it's right Mosley. Alexander puts it in. <laughs> I tell you what, that's second possession in a row. Alexander and Mosley flew down the court. Timeout Duke 10 1. 
is the run for Georgetown. Really well schooled by Patrick Ewing, his team, to use verticality. Watch. Straight up. Turnover, and this is so fast, and Alexander just dominates going to the backboard. Second possession in a row. Georgetown just out athleted, if that's a word, Duke. That was fast, Boogie. Now, so Georgetown leading it by 10. James Akinjo, who was the Big East freshman of the year last year and led the conference in assists, he's a guy that can make shots and facilitate. Hey, let's be honest. You're James Akinjo, and you have that kind of credentials. You're going up against Trey Jones. Guess what you've heard? All you've heard is Trey Jones is the greatest defender. Trey Jones is candidate for player of the year. Trey Jones is first team All-American. Cocky guards want to go at Trey Jones. And that's exactly to start the game what Akinjo and McClung have done, and it's spurred Georgetown. This is back March 9th, and how about some love from Damian Lillard, point guard for Georgetown, toughest point guard in the country. That's what Damian Lillard tweeted. That dude's a pretty good player, by the way. And he's not far off because I'll tell you what, a lot of guys, the bright lights, do Coach K on the sidelines get nervous. Akinjo and McClung, they came right out. Cocky guards. Cocky guards win big games, man. What about cocky broadcasters? They do great. All right. They get a lot of people on Twitter to hate them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it'll go the other way. And it'll be on Wahab. That's his second. Yeah, Patrick Ewing is saying, because there was a lot of room that Wahab had given the ball handler, but he just moved enough. And he, you know what? When you're out in the middle of the court, easy call for a ref when you move. Right. About eight and a half to go, and it'll go the other way. Do they get Stanley for pushing off? They did. And that's his second. So the freshman charged with the foul. But we said it earlier. Other than Carey, who is going to score? Yeah. Well, so far the answer is no one. They got a dozen points, right? And we're almost 11 and a half into this game. Now I will say, it's going to be hurt on the elbow. I think we will see that. If not later in this half, we will see that in the second half because he got pretty good luck. Just wasn't strong enough to finish. A kid Joe here weaving through traffic. Mosley inside scoops it up and it'll go offensive foul. How about Carey getting into position and able to draw the charge? Boy, Georgetown had Duke scramble. Let's see Carey number one. Let's see what. You know, usually you said earlier they usually call that a block. When a guy hits a shoulder, they usually call that a block. I would call that one a block because I think Carey slid into him. Duke can't can't six go turnovers and four made field goals. Moore takes it away and puts it in. Strong. Reminds me of Chris Carwell back in the day. Moore can do everything on a basketball court. Just needs a little time. That picket gets bumped. Our under eight timeout. We'll be back here in New York City. Used to be Patrick Ewing's home. And he played for the Knicks. Our championship game, Duke and Georgetown from MSG. These are my people. This is the land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. No. 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 How come I'm always walking backwards? Because you got young legs. Yeah! Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus. Giving one. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It really is. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2020 RX 350 for $4.19 a month for 27 months. Experience amazing to your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. 
Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Tonal, be your strongest. Your girls have been with you through every moment of your life. And they're still with you right now. How well do you know them? You don't know what now flashback to the 2015 championship game. These two teams met. Duke had defeated VCU. Georgetown beat Wisconsin to get to the championship game. It was all Grayson Allen. He hit five three-pointers, had 32 points. And in the end, Isaac Copeland missing a last-second three to win it for the Hoyas. Blue Devils held on 86-84 back in 2015 for Coach K. We talked earlier, we talked yesterday, how many trophies does that man have? How many rings does that man have? You read the bios of the assistant coaches, all the championships done at Duke, it is truly remarkable. 40 years, he's the best to ever do it. He's got to have some good ones, too, from, like, the early going. Right. They went to some random tournament right. somewhere, you know. The right. Dan Dockich inaugural whatever. <laughs> Akinjo Ooh. left hand off the glass and good. James Akinjo. Uh, Carry just a little bit underneath the bucket allowed Akinjo to go to the left hand. Duke so far shooting 23% from the floor. Who's going to make threes? James Akinjo, yeah. Big East freshman of the year. And looks like a pretty good sophomore. Man, kids with pride, man. I, you read about, you hear about Trey Jones, greatest defender, this, that. Some guys shy away, some guys step up. Akinjo stepped up from jump. Feet inside, carrying the stuff. Well, they asked Wahab to do two things there. He had to go out and defend Jones on the ball screen. Then he got turned around and did, never saw the basketball. And Carey was the recipient. Carey had 31 yesterday. He's got eight here tonight. They've got to keep him involved. Under seven to go here. First half of our championship game. I like Goldwire in this game. Because he can guard. He's athletic. I thought he played really well yesterday. Akinjo inside, wouldn't go. Wahab the put back. But it was back to Wahab because Akinjo stayed with it and the ball got loose because of Akinjo's activity. What did Damian Lillard say? Toughest guard, the toughest point guard in the country? Yep. He ain't too wrong. Carry. Didn't need it. Count it. What? You know, big guys have a tough time, man. You've got to guard two things. Watch, Wahab's got to come out here. He stays with Jones. Now he's running back, but he has no idea where the basketball is. That's asking a lot of that young kid to guard both. And a heck of a pass by Jones. Pickett puts it on the floor. And right there, Galen Alexander able to drill one from downtown. And how about the Hoyas up by 11 on the number one team in the country? Who was that pass to? I'm not sure. Because <laughs> I thought it might have been to a His foot that way. Out of bounds. No, it'll stay with Duke. All right. Yeah, let's take a look at that last pass. You make the call, Boog. Who is this to? I think it was for Wahab. I do, too. Old wire handling as Jones is off the ball at the moment. Moore off one foot. Loose ball, Pickett. Pushing ahead. Here's Pickett. And what do you have? Offensive foul. Now, if I'm Patrick Ewing, I wanted to foul back here at half court. That was a charge, but I'm wanting to foul at half court. I thought the foul occurred about right. Let's see. Right there when yeah, he tripped. Absolutely, you got him on the leg. Yeah, I thought that was the foul. Good, good play by Moore. Great play by Moore, but right here, that's going to be well, a foul. You couldn't see it there, but when from our 
end zone camera, you could see it. Here's Carey, rebound underneath, and puts it in. When you drive, yeah, but when you drive, everybody's coming, right? They're over helping, so it's going to open the backboard. So Duke needs to do more of that from the top of the key. Drive, it's going to open the backboard. And it'll go the other way. Take a look at that last drive when Duke had the basketball, as you mentioned. Top of the key means there's no help. Here comes the help from the big, and nobody puts a body on Carey. And if you don't put a big body on Carey, you've got a serious problem. Vernon Carey again off oh, a good same play. Travel. It was either a travel or the same offensive foul they just called, and Coach K's up, but that's the same exact play they just called a foul on the other end. Ryan Dorsey on the call. Akinjo and the Hoyas leading by nine, under five to go first half. Akinjo, three. LeBlanc tips it, tried to save it, out of bounds. And it'll be Duke basketball. Anything surprised you so far in this game? No, because we, we knew Akinjo and McClure and these guys were really athletic. It, the one thing that has surprised me this weekend, when I watched Georgetown play earlier in the year against Penn State and Georgia State, they were awful. I mean, I, I mean awful. They got drunk by Penn State. And to watch them in person, they are athletic, they are tough, they are strong. Baker steps inside the three-point line and knocks it down. And that's what I'm talking about. Either Matthew Hurt, Baker, whomever playing at the free throw line is going to be the offense other than Carey that Duke's going to have to have. That last foul on Trey Jones. That's number seven on the team. So it's a one in one spot. Jones wanted an offensive foul called. That's and that's what Coach K is saying. Take a look. Hard to tell there. Now one of the things we saw from Akinjo went 10 for 10 from the line in the win yesterday as he had 14 points. Dan Dockage, one of the things Georgetown, if you look at their offense, they like to play fast. They also get to the line. They did it last year. In the win, they went 21 for 28. You'd have to figure if they're going to pull off this upset, they're going to need to get to the line a little more. Yeah, and they like to drive it. They'll drive it. They'll drive it again on reversal. And that's why they get to the line. They get into the paint. Moore flips it up and rolls it home. I'm telling you, I think this kid is going to be an absolute superstar. Uh, he is willing. He is tough. He is strong. He can handle it. Whatever position you want him to play, Moore can play. I think he's terrific. Out of bounds, it's Duke basketball. It's our under four timeout championship game here at Madison Square Garden, Duke and Georgetown. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. Hurry in for Black Friday deals. Do it right for less, start with Lowe's. These are my people. This is the land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Mm -hmm. No. 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 How come I'm always walking backwards? Because you got young legs. Yeah. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus. Given one. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It really is. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2020 RX 350 for $419 a month for 27 months. Experience amazing with your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal, an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. 
But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Total. Be your strongest. Nobody likes an awkward silence. You can actually use it for something good. You haven't really been yourself lately. Are you okay? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. They've got to figure out either Matthew Hurt or Joey Baker at the elbow. They love Hurt, but he hasn't been in the game. Joey Baker just got a bucket, but that's the question of the day. The coach whisperer, Seth Greenberg. And remember, you can check out the world's greatest podcast with Seth Greenberg. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's three on McClure. Oh, wow. That was some hard contact with those two guys. McClung now has three. And he is frustrated. Boy, a great play by McClung, and then two guys run into each other. I, look, I, what do you, what in are you my do world, in that spot? I don't, I mean. In my world, that's not a foul, because I don't know who the foul is on. The you, ball's that's out of bounds, I totally and I agree. who gets it. But my world's a weird world, dude. No, it's not. I, uh, why? Why is it on him any more than it's on Jones in that spot? I would. I would. Argue, it, people call it on the defense more than they call it on the offense, and I don't get it. I really don't. It's just two guys going after the ball, and that's a monster call. And they ran into each other. Yeah. And, it, and yeah, it's three fouls. I just let the ball go out of bounds, and whoever we thought touched it, let's go that way. All right, take another peek. See if anything changes your mind here. I guess you can argue Jones had the ball and was run into. That would be the only argument that I could make, and he wouldn't accept that argument, McClung. Yeah. I, I would go as I think he sort of had possession. Yeah. I don't know that he had possession of it. And because of that, then. Yeah. This might be a testament to how good Duke is. Feels like Georgetown is up 10 or 12. Right. They're up five. That's that's how good Duke is without being a great offensive team. Wahab can't get the second five point game. A little bit of pressure here. Those active hands pick it out of bounds. Duke basketball. Man, two times they pressed. First time McClung got to the ball, didn't wasn't able to pick it up. Got a foul, and that time Pickett, who's the longest guy out here, had a chance to steal. The press worked. No result. I got to get this to Moore if I'm not going to carry on the block. Baker got it. Joey Baker knocks it down. Joey Baker with five quick ones. And we got ourselves a two point game. It's the championship, the 2K Empire Classic. Under three to go, first half. John Chomby, Dan Dockage, Madison Square Garden. Good crowd here tonight. Pickett puts it on the floor, trying to find Wahab, kickball. Well, Baker went to the elbow and got a bucket. And I think that got him going a little bit. Now watch all the help. Pretty good look. It's two against one on the left side. McClure goes after White, leaving Baker wide open, and he drilled it. They're dying for Baker, O'Connell, Hurt, White, somebody to be consistent, Duke is. Akejo now burst to speed inside good feed LeBlanc too strong. Now LeBlanc had a pretty good look right there and just wasn't able to put it in. LeBlanc shot an air ball late. That's nervous. Duke has not led in this game. Here's Carey inside. Look out. He is a handful. Duke started four for 21. They're eight of 10 since then. And on a 13 2 run, and here comes the crowd. Tied up 31 apiece.
This is what happens when you lose concentration. Watch the ball get swung around, and Carey's going to post up. All right. Not bad position, but right stop it right there. You see the position that 34 is in? You have to be here. Carey has to play through you. When you lunge in the passing lane against Carey, this is what happens. Mosley was like a fly on an elephant's backside. You cannot lunge. You cannot go for the ball unless you are 100%. You are going to get the ball, period. Carey pulls down the board, and Duke. Blue Devils a chance to take their first lead. Carrier Baker. It's Carey. It's Carey. Off the glass, and one. Vernon Carey Jr., 31 last night, and dominating again here tonight. 16 first half points. Horns high. He just run the two bigs up. That cleans out the backside. No help. Once again, Trey Jones, just simple basketball, simple basketball. You're asking a big guarding carry to guard two things. Right now, Georgetown can't get it figured out. And it's Duke basketball. Horns means two guys up, two bigs up, and all they do is pop white, roll carry, it cleans out the opposite big because he's got to stay with White. Easy bucket. Same thing. Offensive foul. Wave it off. Second on carry. Same action. This time the help is there, and Mosley makes a great play to come over outside. He reacts on the pass, gets there. Offensive foul. That's just reacting. You can't wait. When you see the ball move, you jump to the ball, you move with the ball, puts you in position. Duke first lead of the night, up by two. Pass intercepted. It was deflected. Jones ends up with it. Baker wanted a three. And they're going to get Trey Jones with a push off. That's the second on Trey Jones. Tomorrow on ABC, it's Saturday night college football. Number six, Oregon. They'll head to Tempe to face Arizona State. Looking to keep their playoff hopes alive. Coverage begins 7.30 Eastern on ABC and the ESPN app. The Ducks, 9-1. They lost their opening week game to Auburn. Yeah, they want everything since. One of the two or three best quarterbacks, Herbert, in the country. Boy, they sloppy all of a sudden. Great hands by Duke. Goldwire, probing. Kick out to White. Jones on the bench with those two fouls. Who'd they just get that on? DeLaurier on the screen for Baker. DeLaurier. This is the most offensive fouls I've ever seen in a half of basketball. So here we go. Georgetown down two. Patrick Gunn is calling a 1 4 low. You may see a ball screener depending. But if not, they want right there, Kenjo, to go one on one under 10. Now they're going to screen him late. John like the screen there. That just brings another defender. A Kenjo going to work. Oh my goodness, what a move. Gold wire. Good if it goes. James Akinjo, what a way to finish the first half. What a half of basketball. He had to beat everybody. Go wire. Finally, the screener got out of the way, and Akinjo just kind of flipped it in off the heel of his hand. This kid is tough on tough, man. What a great half of basketball. Pretty good start to this championship game. Duke and Georgetown locked up 33 apiece. We send it back to the studio and turn it over to Matt Barry. Welcome back to ESPN's Feast Week presented by Lowe's. Well, first half, a lot of exciting action. James Akinjo, the sophomore from Oakland, 
A dozen points weaving into the lane, and then the big guy, the freshman from Florida, Vernon Carey Jr., coming off a 31-point performance, 16 in the first half. It's our 2K Empire Classic championship game, and we get ready for the second half. At the break, all knotted up. Number one, Duke 33, Georgetown 33. Welcome courtside. John Chambi, Dan Dockage. This has been fun. There's been oh. good energy in this building. And you have two teams that are talented and athletic. What are you looking for going forward? Well, a couple of things. Number one, who's going to score for Duke? You got 33 points, 16 of them by Vernon Carey. I don't know that he can carry the load with half the points. I'm looking at more, and Trey Jones has to get going. And then on the other end, we talked about it to start the show. You're at seven. Older played against Duke before at North Carolina State. He only played six and a half minutes and got two fouls. He's going to have to help. And then the other and the X factor is going to be McClung. McClung picked up his third foul, the guard for Georgetown. He has to play really well. Bad start. Wow, a steal immediately. Jones steps in, grabs it, puts it in, and Duke has the lead. Man. You're at seven inside, left hand, wouldn't go. Carey pulls it down. Same thing they tried to do, or they did in the second half yesterday, or yesterday Georgetown did, try to get your seven going. That's too easy, two in a row. Ewing might think about a timeout here if this possession doesn't go well. This team's sluggish, slow, and not concentrating. Or up on a Kinjo. Carey picks up his third. Here's how the second half started with a steal. Man, what are you doing? I mean, that's the best, you know, that, that's a coaching term for real. Like, that was all you could ask. What are you doing? And then a Kinjo just gets late. He doesn't jump to the basketball. And Jones makes a cut. Now he's going to throw it ahead. Look up ahead and look who was ahead. Vernon Carey Jr. running the floor. He's got to get a timeout. His team is not ready to play this half. Wow. Georgetown comes out flat. And Duke starts the second half on a 6-0 run. Hey, Vernon Carey just sprinted down the floor. And lo and behold, this entire second half has been keyed by who? Trey Jones. These are my people. This is a land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Mm -hmm. No. 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 How come I'm always walking backwards? Because you got young legs. Yeah. Only one thing's more exciting than getting Alexis. Given one. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It really is. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2020 RX 350 for $419 a month for 27 months. Experience amazing to your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal, an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Tonal, be your strongest. Natural disasters are a fact of life in the U.S. And between activities and school, chances are you won't be with your kids when they happen. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids can help your children feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Hey, let's go inside to play, driven by Continental Tire. Trey Jones doing Trey Jones thing. I mean, Pickett just laid that out. That's the start of the second half if you're just joining us. Akinjo, no jump to the basketball, really lazy, and Jones just sprints by him, and then Vernon Carey Jr. just runs by everybody. Bogue, I really feel like going in at halftime, tied with Duke, deflated Georgetown, because I'm telling you, I watched them in warm-ups. They came out sluggish. They came out sloppy. Good time out by Patrick Ewing. Akinjo, deep three, more rebounds it. 
And that is not what Ewing wanted. Ewing looked at Kinjo like, what are you doing? Inside Moore, shot was partially rejected. Here's Mosley. Akinjo. There you go. An open look knocks it down. Mosley created for him. Mosley drew the entire defensive team of Duke to the lane. And Akinjo had a great look. That's terrific play by Mosley. There you go. Kinjo jumped to the ball that time. Moore, that's a three. Got it. Freshman knocks it down. Great play by Jones. He got in the lane, found Moore. Moore is going to be as good a player other than Carey as Duke has. McClung couldn't spin it home. He went down to the floor, and Stanley hands off to Jones. Duke by six, looking for Moore. And your seven picks up his third. You can't let the ball in the lane against Duke because Duke will surround you with shooters. This isn't a vintage team, but see the help from Mosley number four. He just came sprinting in because the ball went, and that's a layup for modern-day college basketball players. Moore knocks it down. You've got to keep the ball on the side, not in the lane against Duke. Easier said than done. Yeah. Wow. Carey, no. Stanley, yes. Oh, geez. It's a good screen. Watch how quick Stanley gets up. Boom. So they went delay of game warning on Stanley. Weird seven flips it up and in. Smart because Carey has three fouls. You're trying to get him out of there. And if you can get him out of there, you don't have a great offensive team. For your seven, by the way, his first two points of the night. Stanley buries a three. Same action, except the ball didn't go into the middle. It went to the basket on the side. Help came off. Stanley drilled it. Let's throw it in there again. And there's LeBlanc to clean it up. This will be that horn set. Two guys high. You'll see Carey dive and Jack White pop out. White to the rim, and he's fouled. Two by seven. Georgetown led for most of the first half. We ended up tied at the break at 33. And White, the senior from Australia. It's a good move by Coach K. If you expose Carey enough by throwing the ball in the year at seven, which they've done, Georgetown has for the last three, getting him out of here gets him a good rest and gives him a few minutes. Now you're playing with three fouls. It's not that big a deal if you get down to 13 minutes. But you got to find offense. Well, let's see if Georgetown tries to get it to year at seven. Allen gets into the paint and he walked. Well, they had it set up for Alexander to set a back cut. Alex, Allen just got a little bit too high and he walked. That, by the way, the 15th turnover on uh, Georgetown. Foul on the Hoyas. Choppy start to this first half. Patrick Ewing wanted a, a carry. I think he's right. I, I think that Moore took the ball over the trap, and there's no way you can keep your hand on top of the ball if you go over two people. I don't think Patrick Ewing's wrong about that. Oops. 
Oh my goodness. Stanley got loose and even though he got bumped, gathered and put it in. Duke leading by 11. Lob the other way and LeBlanc able to answer. A nine point game. White swings to Moore. And they turn it over. Here's a Kinjo now. A Kinjo, a little hesitation, dribbles it out. Boy, was that good by Jack White. He stayed low, moved his feet, took away the drive. And an offensive foul. Two, two baskets already in the half from out of bounds. One to start the half, and then this one for Duke. Just a little kind of back screen, and Stanley's athletic ability, man, gets it in. These are my people. This is the land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Mm -hmm. Dad, the Lexus dealer guy's no, calling. Not. It's a robo call. We might need a plan B. I got an idea. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus. Look. Giving one. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2020 NX300 for $329 a month for 27 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal. It's an entire gym and personal trainer. All in your home. So you see results faster. It learns the strength in every human body so you can unlock the strength you always knew you had. Total, be your strongest. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. Hurry in for Black Friday deals. Do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. And Land Rover, above and beyond. Well, the construction there, 1966, Madison Square Garden. By the time it was complete, Coach K, as a member of the Army basketball team, 1968 NIT, and more garden moments for Mike Krzyzewski. Past Bob Knight for most wins in D1 history, November 15, 2011, and then career win number 1,000 in January of 2015 against St. John's. You know, that Army team that Coach K played on had an Olympian named Mike Silliman, which is amazing when you think about it. I mean, that's how good they were. Coach K, a guy named Mike Schrage, whose son is now the head coach at Elon, was on that team as well. And I got to know those guys working for Coach Knight. What an amazing group of men. Stanley lost the handle. It ends up with LeBlanc. Georgetown the other way, trying to chip away at a nine-point deficit. Javon Blair has checked into the game for the Hoyas. Your seven knocks it down. He's got a terrific touch. It's just a matter of whether he's going to make or miss. He went right at Delorier and got into the post and got position. Nothing he could do. I like this by what Patrick Ewing's doing. Patrick Ewing setting up a little trap but more just too good going over your seven who contested and puts it in nine point game the freshman Moore has 11. oh wow that's from deep look out javon blair he didn't even play in the game yesterday. No, in the first half. That was deep, boo. Georgetown trailing by six. Duke with the ball. Moore.
Stanley. That's a three. Set up by Moore. We said in the first game, college guys don't normally go back when a guy makes a bucket. Coach K went back to Moore, and because of the attention, it set up Stanley for an open three. With seven on Delorier. And one. Omer here at seven. The NC State transfer. Only five minutes in the first half, only 12 yesterday, but I'm telling you, this kid has real touch, and he takes his time, turns back. It's not an easy shot, particularly when you get contact. Little Jack Sigma. Ooh. You know, to beat Duke, because they're so good defensively, you need somewhere to go. Like, you've got to have something that Patrick Ewing is comfortable doing offensively, and it's year seven right now. Akinjo. Wow. Tips it back. White ends up collecting it. And Duke will set it up. Man, LeBlanc went a long way to get a hand on a ball. Great hustle. Carry inside. Left hand wouldn't go. Tries again. Wow. If it's on your seven, it's his fourth. It is, and it is. Yeah, smart. I mean, Coach K didn't win national championships, thousand plus games by not knowing what he's doing, and they went right at your seven with Carry. And the problem you have, Boo, you Carry misses, but he bodies you underneath the basket when you defend him. So he's right there in a great position to get his own rebound. Watch this. Boom, he bodies you. Look where your seven ends up. So there's nobody in better position than Carey to get your own rebound. He leads with his stomach and his chest, which knocks a guy like your seven out of the way. I think, yeah, we got blood on the jersey of Myron Gardner. At least he was bleeding. So carry at the line. Knocks that down. Early Perry Jr. Now with 19 coming off a 31 point effort in the game yesterday. 13 minutes to go. Yeah. LeBlanc gives off a Kinjo, the sophomore from Oakland, going to work. Georgetown down by seven. Feed inside. LeBlanc back to Wahab. Wahab. A little too strong. And then they got the foul over the back, I think, on Myron Gardner. Oh, that was a great play. Was it LeBlanc that tipped it back to Wahab without even coming yeah. down? Knew he was in trouble, and Wahab got a wide open look. Just jumped too high and hit it off back iron. Georgetown led by as many as 11 in the first half. Ray Jones handling here under 12 and a half to go in this one. Number one, Duke leading by seven. That's Baker. And the foul is on Javon Blair. All right, so Feast Week continues, and that's tomorrow. The Air Force Reserve Hall of Fame tip-off classic. Number seven, Virginia against UMass, Arizona State, and St. John's. Can you score 40 against Virginia? Oh my gosh. How about that? They can defend a little. Bobby Hurley going and playing against basically where he grew up. You and I were in the Bahamas last year around this time of year and we watched Virginia in the championship game beat Wisconsin. If I had been adamant at that time, 
in saying this Virginia team can win it all. What would you have said to me? I would have said can, yes, will, no. I, I, but when you when you watch them last year, all they did was guard, never turned it over, never fouled. But you also think about this, Boot. How many near misses? The overtime with Purdue. It was 99 percentile. Purdue was going to win when the ball was going into the backcourt as the clock was running down before Diakita hit the shot. Win probability brought to you by Dan Dockage. Love it. <laughs> Duke by nine here at the Garden. The Garden. Here in the big city, basketball from MSG, the 2K Empire Classic Championship. These are my people. This is the land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Okay. It gives you like 10 degrees protection, which is nice. It gives you that light area. Story time? Sorry, that's my bedtime. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus, giving one. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Wait, how did you guys? Don't ask. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2019 ES350 for $369 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal, an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Tonal, be your strongest. Nobody likes an awkward silence. You can actually use it for something good. You haven't really been yourself lately. Are you okay? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. The Maui Jim Maui Invitational. And it gets underway. Tom Izzo, Bill Self, Michigan State. And Kansas starts on Monday. Check out the brackets. Georgia Dayton, Virginia Tech, Michigan State, Kansas Chaminade, and Mick Cronin, new coach at UCLA. They'll take on BYU. If Kansas and Michigan State are going to not get upset early in the NCAA tournament, they better find somebody that can shoot the basketball. Isaiah Moss did not play in the champions when Kansas turned it over eight million times. Michigan State needs somebody other than Cassius Winston that can, can make a three. Great steal Great. by Akinjo. Akinjo. And they get an offensive foul as Trey Jones was able to draw it. Wow. <laughs> How many offensive fouls has there been? Both teams really fundamental. Trey Jones just steps in front. He could tell that Akinjo was off balance. Jack White did a good job of battling from behind and you know what you got to give the referees credit boo they've been consistent with that basically every one of those hit or miss has been called the same way offensive foul whether you like it or not Jones tried to whip it back and instead LeBlanc and he throws it down great move by Patrick Ewing going to the tough press now red Red means you're firing, you're trapping, you're trying to get, and a hook pass by Trey Jones doesn't work in fifth grade, and it doesn't work in college, it doesn't work in the NBA. It's just like a quarterback rolling out to his right and throwing it into the middle of the field. You cannot do that. I like LeBlanc. Yeah, Paul Sells was just saying something to LeBlanc. Keep your hands off Stanley. Here is Cassius Stanley. Gets inside. Hanks can't hit. It's out to the freshman Moore. And now White. That LeBlanc, wasn't it, on the floor? Mm-hmm. Wow. Alexander pushes it up ahead. Javon Blair. Left side, Terrell Allen missed everything. You could see everybody was so excited, Boo. Even though that was an open three. That was a rush three because they were so excited. Mm -hmm. 
Got the foul and Wahab is third. It's a five point play. Just had everybody so excited. And you got a wide open look, and it turns out to be free throws. And Patrick Ewing wants to let people play under the buck. LeBlanc will grab a seed. Here's Carey, 19 points. And rattles home the first. A reminder tonight following the Rockets and the Clippers on ESPN, you got Sports Center. Scott Van Pelt, SVP, will have recap and post game reaction from Staples Center. LeBron and the Lakers looking for six in a row. College football preview of Penn State. At Ohio State, I'll come up Sports Center after the NBA. Take Ohio State, give the points. All right. I'm just saying, Urban Meyer I talked to him the other day. I said this earlier. 20 pros he feels like there are on the def in the program on the defensive side of the football. They just whoop everybody. And stepping on the sideline is Alexander, out of bounds. Georgetown turns it over. Duke leads it by eight. It's our championship game. Moore goes at the basket off the glass. No oh. offensive foul. I wonder if Moore pushed off because we had a pretty good angle and it was like the defender was going along with. Let's look. Great run out by Moore. Well, how back? I think that's a great call. You never see that called in college basketball. You see it in the NBA, Boog, but you never see when the offensive player initiates contact into the defense. You never see it called. I think it's a great call. Turn it over there. 21 turnovers for Georgetown. Mike Krzyzewski's team was down by as many as 11 in the first half. Crowd starting to cheer. Mac McClung is going to check back in. So is your seven. Duke with the ball up by eight. It's our championship game as we close in on the 10 minute mark. Jones oh. turns the corner inside left hand wouldn't go. Delorier shot was blocked and will go possession arrow. It'll stay with Duke. Hey, two guys came over. For Georgetown, just sprinted and got up above Delorier, causing the jump ball. By the way, it's competition time. Patrick, he's had enough. Yeah. No more tie. No more tie. Let's go. Yep, that's right. He untucks that shirt. It's real serious. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, he put shoes on. It's over. I think you got to find carry here against Yurt Seven and put him in a position where Yurt Seven gets another foul. Mm -hmm. And that one rejected by LeBlanc. McClung picks it up. McClung off to the races. Mac McClung. I think he was waiting for some contact. And then he gets a <laughs> shot rejected by Moore. Wow. What end to end action. The end ends up with Moore. And Moore is letting McClung know. But I'm telling you, on this other end, watch Moore come out and get it at the point. But on the other end, man, did LeBlanc do a great job of digging it out. This is a fantastic fun game. What a block by Moore. And Moore let him know, Boo. He said a foul word. The look saying a thousand words. Maybe he didn't say a bad word, but I thought he did. I'll get him in trouble. McClung trying to feed inside. Loose ball. Delorier comes up with it. Here's Jones. Jones left hand. That wouldn't go. Tip wouldn't go. McClung up ahead. LeBlanc. And a foul, and Josh LeBlanc will go to the line. Man. I thought 
Boog, I thought I thought LeBlanc was going to dunk that. I thought he was going to turn that over and dunk on this entire building. That dude hustles, Boog. Wow. Great hustle by Delorier as well. Keep your pants on. Patrick Ewing. This team down by eight. LeBlanc. Eight out of 13 on the season from the line. Too strong that time. Akinjo will check back in. Allen will sit. If you watch McClung, at least that free throw, it doesn't spin. Which means he doesn't have a good wrist snap off his fingers, which means he's not going to be a good free throw shooter. Try to watch the ball here if you can. See if it spins a little bit, a little better that time. Seven point game and some pressure. A takeaway. What do we got? Whoa. Oh, wow. Patrick Ewing just got oh. technical. Saw that coming. He's about ready to get run. He better settle yeah, down. Yes. Louis Orr needs to get in front of him and get him out of the way. And Louis Orr, great job. Patrick Ewing is frustrated as he chats with Brian Dorsey. Boot Jokestown thought they had a steal. Let's see. They called a foul. I need to see that again. I, they, on Akinjo. It was Rob Riley to teed him up. What a terrible call. Yeah, it's bad. And that's what set Patrick Ewing off. Unless there's an angle we didn't see, but we've seen two. That's just a terrible call. And Patrick earned the tee, by the way. He was angry. He was angry. He's about ready to get tossed because he came out onto the court. And Louis Orr. Louis Orr did a great job right there. I mean, a great job. All right, let's see. Look at Stanley. You know, you extend that arm. I guess you could say Akinjo had it held, but that doesn't look like that to me. That no. just looks like we're no. playing basketball and the referee made a bad call and Patrick Ewing reacted. That is a terrible call. Yeah. Now, boom, if you're. If you're Georgetown, unless you get an open three, you're driving it because I promise you they're not going to call a foul on Georgetown driving in this situation. They'll call a block, but you got to drive it. Wow. Man. Sure. I'm wrong. I thought they would have called a foul without question on carrying. They didn't. And the block obviously fouled. And I thought that a Ken Jill got bumped. I didn't think it was a bad play by Carey, but I thought they would be given a foul. I've seen it for 25 yeah, years. Sure. All right, so here's that last play. Akinjo getting into Carey. That's good defense. That really was. And, and good officiating by not giving in to the makeup call. I've seen it so many times in my life, Boo. Lived it, player, coach, good referee, and not, not giving in. George Towns, the charge of 27 fouls, Duke with 16 oh, nice. in this one. You're at seven, wanted a call there. 10 point game, nine to go. Feed White couldn't do it. Stanley the putback and one. Cassius Stanley. How quick the
does Stanley get off the ground? And a great play by Stanley to follow his pass. Makes the pass, keeps moving forward. Everybody else is watching Stanley because he can jump so quick, beats him to the ball. It's a great game, Boog. Last foul on Mac McClung, and it's his fourth. New so York. Freshman now with 16. New York and Ewing were talking about whether you keep him in because this is a dangerous time. You're down 13. You got to have some offense. You have to keep him. In. Yeah, I think you do, Boog. Bo and it's good to play him on the same side here at Kinjo. Wow. That, that's a terrible. There is a rule now. You're not supposed to be in their space. Watch the space right now. Carey comes. You've seen it called all year long. A guy comes up in a trap into a player's space, not allowing him to move, and that's what Carey does. They're going to look at it, but I think that is a bad call, Boo. Yeah. I mean, a basketball player should at least be allowed to turn a little bit. Yeah. That's the new rule that was implemented last year. Paul Sells over there sorting it out. At the table, Brian Dorsey. Little Dan Dockic. Right, so they're going to say a cylinder foul. Yeah, they're not calling it on 44. They're doing exactly what we had just said. They're going to take away the foul because it's reviewable from right. 44. And because Carey is in the cylinder, they're going to call the foul on him. That's good officiating. That's four on Carey. Yeah. People don't know the rule, so they're upset because they've never seen this before. Yep. But that was very good officiating. Yeah, that's the call right there. And hang on. The clock's at 21. And it was at 30. Okay. That was really good. Your seven oh. buries it. How about that? Oh, oh, oh. It's a two. And it's an 11 point game. Georgetown bringing some pressure. Important for Georgetown to press without fouling. And here we go. Championship game number one. Duke up by 11. Jones, floater, got it. Can't do that. You can't get beat away from a ball screen when the ball screen's being set by a guy that can't score. Deloria can't score out there, Boo. So you got to force him into the non score, not get beat away. Oh, good feed. Deloria gets the foul. Georgetown trailing by 13. A rough one here at the Garden. Lots of emotion. Yeah, I'll say. Patrick Ewing absorbing the T in his Hoyas trail in the championship game right now. These are my people. This is a land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Okay. It gives you like 10 degrees protection, which is nice. It gives you that light area. Story time? Sorry. That's my bedtime. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus. Giving one. <gasps> 
Wow! <laughs> Wait, how did you guys... Don't ask. The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2019 ES350 for 369 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal, an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Tonal, be your strongest. Thank you. Thank you. Here tonight from Madison Square Garden, our championship game, 2K Empire Classic number one, Duke leading by 13. Last year was about the freshman, this year about the freshman. Bernie Carey Jr. inside, he has been outstanding. I know you like Wendell Moore and Wendell Moore Jr. And as well, Cassius Stanley doing the job. Freshman last year, freshman this year. Maybe not as high a draft choices, you know, like Carey maybe. But, man, are they good. They are tough. And you know they go to Duke. They're going to be well coached. Great back cut. Great timeout by Patrick Ewing by Akinjo. Wow. Akinjo gets the bucket. Boom. Patrick Ewing was killing Akinjo at that timeout. Akinjo didn't want to hear it at first. Oh, that's too easy. Moore all the way down and in. Tell me what he can't do. I mean, he just brought the ball down like a point guard. He's built like a fullback. He's hit a three. He rebounds. He guards different guys. I love that kid, Wendell Moore. 6'6", 213 from Charlotte. Just a freshman. Here's seven. Hangs and hits. He's got a lot of skill offensively. Got a lot of game on the block. That was to the right shoulder. He's gone left shoulder. He's gone right shoulder. He's gone shot fake Sigma. Look at this. Ray Jones tracks it down, and they'll set it back up. Duke by 11, closing in on seven to go. Now you drive it right at your seven. If you can, you drive it right into him. White feeds across Stanley. Freshman jumper. Somebody got a piece of it. Out of bounds, and it'll be Georgetown basketball. Boo, this is a lot of game out of your seven. This is a lot of offensive game, man. The guy can go right shoulder. Two dribbles, back you down. He's going left shoulder. He's going shot fake, lean in, so you can't block it. Too bad he only played five minutes in the first half. Akejo inside, hangs, can't hit. And then what do we have? We go on possession arrow, and it stays with Georgetown. Good hustle by Akejo. He and Delorier. He's given up about ten inches to Delorier. There's so much want to in a Kinjo. So much. Watch. He's got his chin on the rim and then he's going to battle. It's time for McClung and a Kinjo to make a couple shots if Georgetown's going to get back in this down the left. Yep. A Kinjo directing traffic. Led the Big East in assists last year. The freshman of the year in the league. And your seven draws the foul. Jack White picks it up. Not Jack White of the, the White Stripes. You a fan of the White Stripes? Yeah, yeah. big fan. Yeah. Who are they? You know the Seven Nation Army song. Oh, yeah. You do. I'll sing it for you later. Is that and like I've, Fish? I've had to, no. Oh. I've had to listen to you. So, I mean, every song that comes on in this place, Dockage then pause, starts to sing. I love You don't song. even realize you do. Every morning, there's a song in my head. Good seven gets the second. You got to get stops, Boog. You know, as hard as Georgetown's playing, they're down 10 yep. against a tough point guard. And a, um, oh, good call. Harry. You know, you got a string three in a row. You got one. You're down double digits. You're telling your team, let's get three stops in a row and a good shot every possession. And we'll be right in this under five minutes. 19th turnover. On the Blue Devils. Here's McClung with the ball. His team down by 10. 
This is what McClung wants, that matchup right there. On the elbow, shot wouldn't go, loose ball, and Stanley swoops in for the board. Alexander popped out there. Under six to go. Jones goes to work. Inside, hangs, that wouldn't go. Rebound is pulled down there. And Gardner up ahead, McClung spinning inside. And they go possession arrow. This time it belongs to Duke. Mac McClung, who's been held down only six points in this one. What great help. I mean, Jack White made McClung spin, and man, Delore, a hustle got in front. That's a difference, Boog. Trade, he's not going to get sped up. You know, McClung got sped up. We've seen Akinjo sped up. You're not speeding him up. More hesitation gets inside off the glass. Two more for Wendell Moore. Wendell Moore Jr. with 17. Star. Anything you want to do on a basketball court, star. They get the foul on Delorier. Third seven got good position. Feast week continues tomorrow. The Air Force Reserve Hall of Fame tip off. 12 Eastern, number seven, Virginia against UMass, Arizona State, and St. John's. Championship comes your way on Sunday. There'll be a point in the season where Virginia is probably number one. Do you have a sneak attack team that Ohio State? Okay. I think Ohio State watching them beat Villanova all day. They've got Caleb Wesson has played like a first team All American and he's played more importantly probably like a first team all defensive player. He's been terrific. Lost 30 pounds. Can shoot threes. He's fantastic. And a point guard named DJ Carton can go like one and done go. Now it's not a sneak team because they're tenth in the country sure. right now, right? But it's a team nobody really talking about. White rips down the rebound, 11 point advantage for Duke, and they have the ball. Stanley, wide open three, got it. Freshman. Wow. Largest lead of the night for Duke. They're up by 14. And look at the hustle by Carey. Well, Stanley's known for the jumping ability, but that jumper's pretty good, too. Yeah, it's sweet. I'll tell you what, you're just not going to speed Jones up. You're just not. And he finds the right guy after going side to side, and Carey is set, and when he's set, he's money. Third seven. Wow. That's left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Last time was right shoulder. Just can't get enough stops. Boot can't can't get a stop, then a stop, then a stop. You're at seven with 17 all in this half. Fans egg and Jack White on wanted him to shoot it there. The whole section that was behind White stood up thinking, and then they got mad. Four minutes to go, shot clock winding down. Jones off the mark, Mosley rebounds. Hoyas on the move, Gardner splits the wow. defense. Finger roll is good, and Georgetown back within 10. It's exactly what you say, split the defense, because again, we've seen so many charges. Charge was there, but Gardner had great body control. Ray Jones, 11.7 assists. Feeds Carey inside, rejected there. That's three stops. Get a bucket here, you're right back in it. You're at seven, it's a three. Carey able to track it down. That would have been big if your seven could have hit that triple. Ooh.
Jones on the move. Jones floats, can't hit. And a rebound pulled down by Gardner. Georgetown the other way. Gardner lob, tipped. White tries to save it, and he does. It's Duke basketball when we come back. Huge play. Wow. Crazy pass by Gardner. I was hoping Gardner would take it to the rim. Watch White here. He reacts. He does not stand. There's a the play. He beats everybody and makes the smart play. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by NBA 2K20. Welcome to the next rated E for everyone. And State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. These are my people. This is a land where my forefathers lie. These are my people. Mm -hmm. No. 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 How come I'm always walking backwards? Because you got young legs. Yeah. Only one thing's more exciting than getting a Lexus. Give him one. <laughs> The Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2020 RX 350 for $419 a month for 27 months. Experience amazing to your Lexus dealer. Introducing Tonal, an entire gym and personal trainer that fits beautifully into your home. Tonal combines expert coaching with 200 pounds of digital weight. So whether you're looking to build strength or get lean, there's a coach and program to help you get there. And just like a personal trainer, Tonal dynamically adjusts the weight for each exercise so you don't have to. But the most amazing thing isn't what it can do, but what it knows you can do. Tonal, be your strongest. I'm never gonna let you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Back here at the Garden. Check out that last play. The save by Jack White. Duke's up by 10. 242 to go. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Unless it hits Alexander's left hand, that's off Jack White. Still a heck of a hustle play, though. I mean, if it went off of him, like, what are we talking about? I don't know how you miss it. I know how you miss it. You're behind the play. The ref wasn't in front. Duke with the ball of 10. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I'm just here keeping you honest. That's all. <laughs> I'm like your ombudsman, right? I'm the ombudsman. Yes. Inside more. LeBlanc swats it. I love LeBlanc. Man. Akinjo probing. It was that offensive interference. They didn't call it. Who they give the basket to? Smart right there because that ball was not getting across the 10 second line. Again, Trey Jones is smarter than everybody. Eight point game, 158 to go. 6 0 Georgetown run. Watch LeBlanc here. He's beat, but he stays with it, gets a running start, and pins it. Yeah. And this is what you got to do. You got to turn turnovers into layups, and look like year seven got that one. That's a goal team. Yeah. Been a tough night for the guys in black and white. 158 to go. Georgetown trailing by eight. It's our 2K Empire Classic Championship game. These teams met in the championship in 2015. And Grayson Allen, 32, and Duke held on for a two-point win. Omer, you're at seven, second half. He's been brilliant, Dan Dockett. Yeah, he's been the best player on the floor. I mean, he has been terrific. They, Patrick Ewing's smart. They found where they wanted to go to get offense. Defense has been a bit of a problem, but this kid right here has been terrific. Only five minutes. 
in the first half got foul trouble had foul trouble yesterday as we move forward in the season he's got to learn not to commit silly fouls boo he gets too many by being late on a play they changed that last back to two you're at seven toss up ahead and they get a travel and that was good officiating. That was guys going for the ball. White fell down. And the game was going so fast, a little stutter steps travel. Good press again. I don't know about that. I don't either. Look, it looked in real time like a travel. Ken Joe hesitating. A Ken Joe looking. A Ken Joe floater. Tip and out of bounds, and it'll stay with Georgetown. 132 to go in this game. And Duke, number one team in the country, leading by eight. If you're Duke, you just keep in front of a guy and make him make tough shots. You do not foul. And you guard the three-point line. You're at seven. Hit. Oh, touch. He's got 21. All in the second half. Omer, you're at seven. More into the front court. And he gives it off to Trey Jones. The steady hand of the sophomore. Six point game. Closing in in a minute to play in our championship game. Some energy in the garden. Handoff Jones inside. Your seven swats it out of bounds. Three on the shot clock. That's the play they scored. Second bucket of the half. And your seven read it perfectly. He did not stay up top where Carey was. Came over and made the play by being there early. Early help, you get block shots. Late help, you foul. Now one of the guys who's made a big impact in this game. You were raving about him last night, but the freshman, Wendell Moore Jr., he has had himself a really nice game. I like everything about him. He can guard basically four, maybe five positions. He goes to the backboard. He is strong. He handles the ball. And as you can see there, he can play through contact. This kid, I think, is going to be a star. And he's going to be somebody on both ends of the court that is going to be Coach K's, I don't know about his favorite, because you got like Jones and Carey, but he's going to be the third guy on this team at some point, maybe right now. Love it. Wendell Moore Jr., the freshman from Charlotte. Duke here tonight, they're 5 0 with a win, they'd be 6 0. This is their third game at Madison Square Garden. Three at MSG and three at Cameron. And how about upcoming schedule? Yeah, Duke and Michigan State, Big Ten ACC Challenge, December 3rd, 9.30 Eastern. That's from East Lansing. Two teams that win because they're tough. They win because their culture is tough. They win because they're supposed to win. This is not a three first-round pick Duke team. And Michigan State, who was the preseason number one, I don't know if they have a first round. And Cassius Winston's a terrific college player. Who knows how he equates to the NBA, but they win because they're tough. That is going to be on December 3rd, a great, fun basketball game. It's interesting. I mean, you see, and their next game after that for Duke is at Virginia Tech to open up ACC play. But it feels as though for Duke, part of what's happening, even though they're relying on freshmen again, is they're relying on the culture. It seems Good like question. there's that feel of we know how to win in the tight spots. Three on the shot clock, 50 oh, points, nice. six to go. Lob inside, oh, carry. What a play! Oh my goodness. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. Vernon Carey Jr., he's got 20 here tonight. Boom. Watch this. He's he, uh, We missed the first part where Carey went out like he was going to catch a screen from Moore, and he turned back. Watch, he's turning. He reads like he's – no, no. He comes back, and you just throw it up. You want to know why Coach K's won 1,000 games plus? It's one of the reasons. Not the reason, but one of the reasons. 
That was great. If you're a coach at home, clip that, run that, but run it with a guy that can make free throws. Missed them both. Your seven pulls it down. Got to go. Akinjo hesitates Charge. inside. Oh. And a block. And Akinjo will go to the line and shoot two. Akinjo went fast, boo. Let's see. It's been called a charge all night. Yeah. I mean, it really has. I, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. He's there. I guess he's moving. He's sliding, I suppose. But that's been called a charge every time except that time. That, by the way, was the 50th foul in this game. 5-0. In the referee's defense, this is a tough game to officiate because er everybody's driving. No. Uh, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So here we go. Four point game, a 10 0 Georgetown run. Well, I tell you what, Kerry touches it. I'm fouling. I wouldn't mind fouling more either. Now you got a problem. Wow. What do you. All right. That was bad. Yeah. If you had an 11-second difference on a four-point game, that's too much. All right, so four-point game here. Back to the studio of Matt Berry. Jones gets the first. Ball screen at midcourt and go to the rim. Or a three. Nope. Stanley tracks it down. And a foul on Blair. All right, tonight's player of the game is brought to you by 2K, Wendell Moore Jr. 17 points, 7 to 10 from the line, plus 15, meaning when he was on the court, they outscored Georgetown by 15. Yeah, and there's a reason for that. First off, the efficiency of, from, the free, uh, from the field goal percentage but his defense terrific he went to the back but he handled the ball against heat people been waiting at Duke and I know he's only six games in but at Duke you're supposed to be great from you know the get go he was terrific absolutely terrific tonight eight point game now and Duke will stay unbeaten to Kinjo Hoist carry pulls down the rebound Georgetown a takeaway. Blair. And that's that. 81 73 in the final. 218 wins as the coach of an AP number one team. That is the most all time passing John Wooden. Duke wins it here in Madison Square Garden. They're the champs. The 2K Empire Classic for Dan Dockich and our entire outstanding crew here in New York City. Number one, Duke wins it. 81-73, they beat Georgetown. I'm John Chavez saying so long from New York City. We send it out to Dave Fleming. What's up, Flem?